Hey guys, so today I'm here with my top 13 products of 2013. I love doing this type of video. I did this the past two years, like top 12 products 2012, top 11 products of 2011, and so on and so forth. And I also do top 13 YouTubers of 2013. So if you didn't see that video, I will link it down below where I talk about 13 YouTubers that I discovered this year that I freaking love. So this uh, video is basically the same as that. It's 13 products that I discovered this year that I fell in love with, and I hope that you will try out and fall in love with this well. This is basically like my best of beauty, December favorites all put together. So if you want to see my top 13 products of 2013, let's go ahead and get started. The first product is something that I have literally fallen in love with this year and it is my hands down favorite foundation of the year and probably of all time and it's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus foundation. This is supposed to be for oily skin to help mattify the face. I actually have really really dry skin I really like this I don't know what it is about it that my skin really likes but it just gives this really nice full coverage nice finish to my face and it doesn't over dry my skin either which is something that I was hoping wouldn't happen especially with like a matte foundation but it's literally my favorite foundation I love it I discovered it this year and it's amazing I'm in the shade number 25 which is not the lightest shade it's the next lightest shade but it's amazing if you've never tried this I definitely suggest stopping into your local Sephora getting color matched for it and getting a sample because it is amazing my next favorite product this year is is from Benefit and is the Benefit Hula Bronzer Boxed Powder. This is probably the best bronzer I have ever tried for my skin tone. I am very, very fair as you can see and bronzer on me is either way, way too orange or just too dark for my skin tone. I discovered this and I love it. I use it to contour just a tiny, tiny bit and it's just the perfect shade of tan brown so it doesn't look orange or cakey or gross on my skin. It's also a really light brown shade so it's really really easy to contour with for my skin tone and I just really love it. I love Benefit. I love their box powders. Hoola is just my absolute favorite. My next favorite this year that I discovered is probably a product that everybody has used. It is from NARS. It is the NARS Blush and Orgasm. I don't have the single blush. I actually have the duo with Orgasm and Laguna but it is this blush. So Laguna we're not talking about you right now. We're talking about this blush. It is the most perfect pink peach gold shade I have ever found in my entire life. It looks amazing on every single skin tone, dark to light to super pale to super tan. It just, it looks good on everybody. It's just a beautiful shade and I always again suggest it for anybody starting out with any high-end blush. I suggest going to NARS Orgasm because it's beautiful and it looks good on everybody love it. This product that is my favorites is something that I've only had for like a month or so but I knew it would be in my favorites the instant second that I got it and it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I use this every single day and I love it. I started off using them, the colors, individually on certain parts of my skin but now I literally just take my brush and just all over my face and it looks amazing. It comes with three of the ambient lighting powders. I love these. There is dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. Incandescent light is a limited edition. It's the middle one, but um, something similar to that is the candlelit one, the candlelight luminous light one. I think this is beautiful. I think these hourglass ambient lighting powders are absolutely breathtakingly beautiful and they do exactly what they're meant to do which is mimic light and kind of focus on your face with a little bit more of like a soft focus or it can blur out imperfections anything like that and I think they are amazing so that is definitely a favorite this year. Next favorite product this year is from Anastasia and it's the Anastasia Brow Waves. This is my favorite brow pencil. I have definitely been getting into brows a lot more this year. This is probably the best my brows have ever looked. I know when I first got this I started kind of like filling them in with like a square shape and just going crazy with it and it was a little bold and a little too Cara Deviling. Cara Deviling? Deviling? Cara Deviling? I don't know her name. Cara something but it was too bold for me and I've decided that I'm just gonna start kind of silently outlining them. Silently outlining them? gently outlining them with this pencil and I just really like it. I'm in the shade Brunette 
I probably could use a medium brown, but I do like the brunette. It's amazing. This is just all around a great brow pencil, and it's definitely a favorite of mine. My next two favorite products of 2013 actually go together, so I'm counting them as one, and it's an eye look that I did for the majority of 2013. I literally did this eye look every single day, like no hesitation, and I loved it. And it was using two of my favorite Urban Decay eyeshadows. This is the old packaging, by the way. This one is in Sin, which is beautiful. As you can see, mine is hit pan, and it's almost gone and I love sin I just I think this is the prettiest champagne pink color ever and I would use this all over the lid and then I would take mushroom which is this like taupey gray color and use this in the crease and I just loved the look that this gave this is like an everyday look for me and I love it I'm not wearing it today though but I really love it and I used it a lot in 2013 My next favorite of 2013 is something that I recently got into and that is a MAC lipsticks I'm actually showing you the one that I'm wearing today which is Viva Glam one it's the red, it's actually like a red packaging. It's like a kind of like a dark red. I'm using it over a night moth lip liner. Um, I really got into MAC lipsticks this year. I now currently own eight of them, which is crazy. I only had one at the beginning of the year, and now I own eight of them. I love them. I honestly, if I were to get any lipstick, like recommend any lipstick brand, it would be MAC because I think there's just a large variety and there, there's so many finishes, there's so many colors. You honestly, just any person that wants like any sort of lipstick can find a perfect one from MAC. So I recommend these. These are my favorite this year. I love them. And then another lipstick favorite of mine this year is actually just one and it's the Milani Lipstick in Black Cherry. This lipstick is absolutely beautiful. Deep, deep purple shade. Smells like watermelon Jelly Ranchers, amazing, and it's just the prettiest color. It's definitely a color that I reached for a lot in the fall and the winter. It's something that I really, really liked, and it just smells so good. And they're so cheap, too. Like, Milani lipsticks are so cheap. So this is another top 13 product of mine. Another favorite of mine this year is the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. I never thought that I would ever use a lip primer, but basically what a lip primer does is it kind of mimics what a lip liner does, but it's invisible. So what it is is it helps with any sort of feathering or bleeding, which is when the lipstick goes from on your lips to kind of down more, and it just helps with anything like that, and I just love the way this one feels. It's really soothing, really soft. It's like a chapstick in a little tube, and I just love the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Definitely a favorite this year. Your top product of mine this year is a brush, and it is a Sephora Pro Brush. This one is the number 55, which is the Pro Airbrush. I actually have two of these, and I use them both for highlighting. I use this one for my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and I also use the other one for my MAC highlighter, which I love. This can honestly be used for anything. You could use it for foundation, you could use it for blush, bronzer, anything that you want. It's the perfect size and shape. It's also synthetic because you can tell the, between the two different bristle colors. So you can use it with liquids. It's just super soft. It's very versatile and it's just a brush that I literally got so much use out of this year and I love it. It's just soft. Next top product this year is actually a palette. I wanted to include a palette in this video and I figured it would be way too soon to include the Naked 3 because I've only been using it for a few weeks, but I wanted to include a palette that has been like an all-time favorite for me this year, and I have decided that is the Too Faced palette, the A Few of My Favorite Things palette, which is now sold out unfortunately, but I got it while it was around and I'm super excited about it. It's just this beautiful palette that has so much stuff in it. There's all these eyeshadows, there's some blushes, some bronzers, some highlighters. It's just all around the best palette and the colors are amazing. This tinsel and buff color are like the prettiest colors I've ever seen in my entire life and I just think honestly if you got a hold of this palette you are one lucky duck because this is definitely a top product for me this year and I loved it. The next top product for me this year is a hair product. It is from Bumble and Bumble and it is the thickening dry spun finish. This one is almost out. I love this stuff. This gives my hair so, so much volume. I like to use it mostly when my hair is curly, like second day curls, because I literally just spray it right up into like the curl and it gets big and just bouncy and beautiful and amazing. It just gives the volume that you want and like a texture and it just looks absolutely amazing. So Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun, the dry thickening dry spun finish is amazing. I love this stuff. And then the last product of 2013 that has been a top product for me and something that I truly loved this year is a skincare product. And if you've been watching my videos for a little bit, you probably know what it is. It is from Ulla Henriksen and it is the Invigorating Night Gel. This stuff is 
amazing. Hands down, the best skincare product I have ever put on my skin. I am very acne prone. I have dry skin. I'm sensitive skin. It's so weird. I have like a mixture of like everything that's wrong with your skin. This stuff is amazing. It perfects the skin overnight. You wash it off in the morning and your skin honestly clears up and looks amazing and it's just the best product I've ever used. So the Ula Hendrickson Invigorating Night Gel, it comes in many sets. You can get it for I believe it's like 50 bucks by itself but if you get it in like a set it can be cheaper which is nice. So I love this stuff. So that is it for my top 13 products of 2013. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!